Okay, guys, for the concept of uh, inertia, first and most important thing, you need to understand the definition. Now, the definition of inertia states that it is the tendency for all objects to remain moving and this moving guys uh, it has to be at uniform speed or uniform velocity okay so tendency for all objects to remain moving but at uniform speed o to remain stationary until acted upon okay by an external force okay now if you look at the definition of inertia closely guys eh, the tendency for all objects to remain moving now the keyword over here is the word remain moving okay another keyword over here is to remain stationary until it is exerted over here by an external force now what it means over here is guys uh, let us just take a situation uh, guys uh, a situation whereby you have a bus and you are inside the bus now when the bus moves you are moving together with the bus okay the moment over here the bus driver applies the brake now that brake is your external force the moment the bus driver applies the brake your body wants to go in front now the reason why your body wants to go in front is because it wants to continue it is initial stage of motion that's why your body wants to go in front now so the most important thing number one is for the definition okay guys inertia for exam three things you need to concentrate now number one definition number two okay number two what you need to concentrate on is in terms of its application now the application of inertia is divided over here into three things the first thing example over here you need to know the usage over here of for an example your seat belts sometimes you also call it over here safety belts now apart from seat belts over here you need to concentrate also on your headdress okay and third over here you also need to concentrate seat belts headrest over here and another one over here we can give you on the airbag system so these are the uh, three main things over here that you need to concentrate now apart from that over here i will give you one spm question that uh, over here talks about an oil tanker either oil or water tanker guys so this tanker is an spm question and i will teach you over here on how to answer for this question Okay, after this yeah? now the third thing over here that you need to understand okay so one two three yeah now the third thing over here that you need to understand i'll just write it over here all right now is on the paper three this one can come out over here for paper three yeah and for paper three what i want you to concentrate on is basically over here the relationship okay the relationship of mass and inertia now as you know over here as mass increases inertia also increases so this is the three things that you need to concentrate for inertia now what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain to you on the application part of it because this is the one that is important it keeps come it, it will always come out over here on paper too so this is what we want to concentrate on now